Twitch and YouTube. Welcome back to Live with Emery, the most uh, clearly well-coordinated uh, YouTube and Twitch channel ever produced. Yes, I am your amazing and obviously very technologically adept host, Emery. Why, why do you do this? I want like 100% volume like all the time. We're gonna start off with a highball. I'll probably make it a double though. I think that's what we're gonna do here. Hello, okay, we got these limes here. The lapel microphones are not good, by the way. I need to get like a real mic. First of all, they don't sound the best. They kind of chew on any piece of clothing that I wear. I'm gonna make a couple garnish slices just for later. I like that smell, that nice citrus smell. I haven't smelled that in a while. Oh yeah, so I haven't eaten any food today. Yeah, okay, we got thoroughly rinsed mint. We got it thoroughly rinsed here, folks. Is that what you guys are, your fucking folks? Sounds like I'm talking to a bunch of retirees. And then I'm gonna give it a little clap. And that, that wasn't for no reason. This actu That actually activates the mint. If you were to smell it right after you do that, you'd be like, oh yeah, this mint has been activated. I can smell. I got my bowl of frozen fruit that is no longer frozen. So it is a bowl of fruit. I'll let you have a look nice inside there. So inside here we got our berries we got half a lime squeezed in and the it's just thrown in there too and some mint that's really all that i'm i'm kind of muddling together right now pretty simple stuff i haven't made a cubano in a hot minute so i hope i get this right oh hell yeah only a only a little bit of drippage but that's okay looking good so far yeah, I just realized regular ice would help, but I have no regular ice frozen because I kind of like froze it over a year ago and I haven't had cocktails in forever. But yeah, now we have this guy. I should probably throw the alcohol in next. I think that's a good idea. Does a Cubano use white rum or dark rum? This is my fucking recipe. How come I don't know? I feel like dark rum is dark rum, dark rum. Wait, why use dog shit rum? I have good dark rum. This is medium good rum, and it's also not dark rum, it's gold spiced. Kraken, overrated. Overrated. I know everybody loves Kraken, overrated. My favorite is El Dorado, personally, but hold on, let me have a look here. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with the Kraken because this just tastes, or this just smells like, well, it smells like fucking Bacardi, and enough said. We are going to throw in, I'm gonna, I said a double, so we're gonna do that. Boom. So we're gonna throw two ounces into the jigger, which is insane for a short glass. It's already like partway full. I'm just gonna throw in like, you know, kind of all the slop that we had, you know, in the muddler. I'm gonna try and avoid not bringing in that whole giant lime peel. I could have foregone throwing the lime, a whole fucking lime in there. That was a little crazy of me. But yeah, we're throwing in this berry juice. And then, of course, some carbonated water to kind of top it all off. Boom. I'm going to stir it up a little bit here. Ooh. Ooh. Just a little bit. I'm going to get the side profile so we can see these limes. Look at how beautiful that is. A little bit of garnish. Voila. How amazing is that? Really easy, bomb-ass drink that you can make at home with just a handful of ingredients. And yeah, this is my simple. So it gets way crazier, more complicated uh, from there. This is something that I could throw together really, really fast. So like I said, I'm, I'm gonna have a couple of drinks. Maybe if there's some donos or something, I'll, I'll start drinking crazy. But I mean, I'm gonna, unlo unless somebody like pressures me with money, I'm just gonna drink like a normal amount of alcohol. But cheers to you guys. Hopefully you guys have some bevies out there. This is exciting. Cheers to, uh, you know, rebranding uh, Pi189, uh, that YouTube channel. And um, I don't know, to all the cool shit that's gonna happen as a result of that. One last time with that money shot. Look at that, nice and close. Oh, oh my God. Okay, now I'm gonna have a, now I'm gonna have a sip. Oh man. I think it does use white rum, but I don't care. This is really good. So yeah, um, one shot, the next game that we're gonna be playing. Yeah, just stay, stay tuned in the uh, announcements for that. I know I promised I was gonna make like a giant loaf 
of cinnamon bread. But I didn't do it last stream because I was being fucking attacked by fruit flies, which are finally gone, thankfully. Oh, alcohol. Hold on, sorry. Sorry, just let me, let me just alcohol. Delicious. Um, but yeah, but yeah, we're going to be doing that stream next. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be updating the recipes a lot. And then right after that loaf, we're going to see how that giant loaf of bread, that's just a big cinnamon bun turns out. Oh, what? Okay, maybe I should have filtered out the mint just a little bit. We'll do it next time. I just dirty dumped this thing, which might have been just a little bit crazy. Uh, don't dirty dump the Cubanos. I would say use a, use a, use one of these filter things instead to kind of filter the juice out. You don't need all that shit in there. My bad, my bad, whatever. Anyway, oh yeah, so the next recipe. I think we're just gonna do a classic pumpkin pie. I think that's what we're gonna do right after that giant cinnamon roll, because I mean, hey, it's fall. It's like we're getting the entire month of September is Halloween. At least it is to me. I mean, literally, I'm not wearing anything that has color on it. Yeah, I, need, I still need to get guests on this stream. Someone just bounce shit off of when Chad is dead. A lot of my friends are like adults with responsibilities, so anyone that I think of that could like show up on the stream, especially on a Saturday, and devote like an hour of their time or, or a couple hours of their time just to kind of sit around and shoot the shit um, while I feed them alcohol and, and food is like, I don't know. Oh shit, I totally forgot that I was going to make garlic uh, bread rolls. Yeah, basically like... It's, it's like a cinnamon roll. It's the exact same type of bun, like a swirly bun, but it's a, it's garlic bread. Shit, that's like something I'd want to serve at my wedding. <laughs> Look at this. It, that's garlic bread. That is garlic bread. I'm not even lying. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, we're going to make that on stream. That looks wild. <laughs> my garnish. It fell into my drink. God damn it. How am I supposed to look fancy now with my fruity drink? Oh yeah, a new game has been added to the game list as well for cues of stuff we're gonna play. But before your eyes, I guess it uses eye tracking. So if you blink, the game changes scenes. So how did the date go? Let me tell you, you wanna fucking know how good the date went? Let me answer that with another question. What do you think of my outfit? My date fucking got me this fucking outfit isn't this cute or what it's this fucking like cardigan poncho hoodie thing it's totally see-through and stuff oh yeah way yeah way i i got a few things for myself i got a new pair of heels some some oh thank you so much wicked that was crazy um okay i'll show you the mall loot for sure hold on let me take more alcohol i'm gonna take another sip of this and i'm gonna show you amazing mall loot give me one sec I'm done. Alcohol consumed. I put some dog shit on my shoe. I don't know what I did. A, a sip as I chug it all. Yes. Oh, by the way, I haven't eaten any food and that was like a double camera. Oh God, I'm so tall. Look at how much I just like, to be fair, I did lower the camera so you could see the shoe, but still. These are my first heels, by the way. This is the heels. They fucking slap. And this is my first time wearing them. They're only three inches high, but like, I have no trouble with the balance or anything. Look, I'm, I'm on one foot. I'm fucking chilling. I don't give a fuck. I can just like fucking straight up. Like, it, bro, I don't know what the deal is with heels. I could go like six inches and I feel like I wouldn't even be challenged. Like it's, I don't know what people are tripping out about, about heels, like literally tripping. Let's eat cookies. You know, I hear that sugar makes you more drunk. When you just have sugar and alcohol, I hear that just fucks you up more. Size 11. I got giant cavemen feet, which look significantly smaller as a result of these shoes. It honestly makes my posture better, so I might just stay like this for a while. I feel tall and powerful. Also, I guess I look like I have like old man hands or something like that because, well, the harsh lighting and then also like I do manual labor for work. But anyway, 
it actually looks way better in person. It's one of those things where I'm like, damn it, the camera, like, especially like this outfit, like it, you can't really tell like how this is like, like you can read the label of the bra underneath this. Um, but on camera, eh, not so much. It gets a bit crunched, you know, power bottom. Should I make cookies now or should I make more alcohol? Okay, I'm gonna make one more, one more alcohol. Like the poncho kind of makes me look a little witchy. Did I accidentally like out myself? I mean, I talked yesterday. That was, that was a rare, <laughs> that was the first time I did. Anyway, any <laughs> we got the trifecta, the three slices of lime right here. No, but for real. Um, was it fun being a top though? Um, the thing is, is I would say that it was, mm, I don't mind topping if the bottom is like a power bottom. So I don't really have, I'm going to use this other piece of lime though, make it really citrusy. Um, I don't really have like assertive, like I'm going to really dom you now energy. I would say like I've, I've hooked up with a good number of girls. Like that's mainly what I have experience with. Uh, it's like cis kind of girls and some of them it's really annoying it gets to the point where it's like they expect me to like hold the door open for them and shit and i'm like bitch you see me with my purse and my makeup too like bitch i'm literally i am literally going to do the exact same uh, like like i literally expect you to do the same shit for me it's like i wish you were holding the door open for me so i've had awkward dates like that where we both just stand at the door and stare at each other and wish that we were like holding the door open for the other person so if they're like a submissive girl like a really really like girly girl or whatever who like i kind of expect that like i'm not gonna do that like it's just but i feel like there's if there's give and take then i could be a little chival chivalrous chivalrous it depends i guess i don't know I've had two shots of uh, of cracking in me. Don't don't. Uh, and we're about to have two more before we make these cookies. So you know, don't 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 judge. But yeah, that, that's the thing. I'm not like, I'm not the sigma male. I'm sorry. I'm the uh, omega because I'm a fucking femboy. I think that's how it works. First date, getting to know each other. Second date, getting comfortable. Third date, getting even more comfortable uh that's true so i'm gonna hold off here's the thing if i get a donation i will immediately drink more if that's what the donation tells me to do um but if i don't which i'm assuming i'm not gonna get a donation here i'm just gonna do my two shots and then we're gonna start making cookies but i will continue to make cocktails if i get a dono that's gonna be the goal here but right now this will be the last two shots that i do anyway there we go. Throwing in that Kraken. The good stuff. The good good. I mean, we have to celebrate since we're, uh, you know, multi-streaming now onto YouTube and all that shit, too. <laughs> fucking give me a dono for those shots. That would fucking kill me. I don't even think I could do five shots for a dono. That might kill me. Uh, and yeah, believe it or not, this is a simple drink. So, like, I was gonna make my other drink. Okay, hopefully I don't get banned for this. The other drink... I'm going to just say the name now. So it's called the Kiwi Cunt Fuck. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a drink that my mixologist friend uh, kind of came up with. And it's, just, it's kiwi um, white wine semi-sweet with uh, curacao and kiwi and, and lime all muddled together. It's so delicious with gin. It's so delicious, very alcoholic drink. I think it's like a three and a half ounce shot or two and a half ounce shot. It's quite... It's quite potent for what you get in the Kiwi Cunt Fuck. Unfortunately, I didn't give a fuck, and he was like, hey, what should I name this drink? And I'm like, I don't know, the fucking Kiwi Cunt Fuck. So unfortunately, that's its name. But it is actually my favorite drink, and it's not because I got to name this drink, but it's because my friend is an award-winning mixologist, and it's an incredible drink. I was going to do that today, but I didn't feel like spending 10 bucks on, on some wine. Whatever, we'll do that next time. Oh, the Discord server. The server is up. So if you check right now in the About section of this page on YouTube or Twitch, you will be able to see um, our new Discord uh, for Live with Emery. And that will have our events page. That will be the most accurate events page. 
our YouTube and our Discord events page will be the most accurate. Twitch, um, hold on, let me alcoholize. Mm. Oh, serotonin hit, let me tell you. Anyway, this is so yummy. This is so fucking yummy. Yeah, so Twitch, the schedule on the Twitch page is terrible. But if you look at the schedule on YouTube or Discord, all the stream schedules will be there. Discord is probably the best because if I'm running late, like I was eight minutes late again for this stream, thinking that it started at 7.30, it started at 7. I don't even know my own schedule. Don't blame me. <laughs> um, but shit like that where I'm like, oh shit, I'm running late. If you want to know the, the good good for the details, Discord is the most accurate uh, for events and stuff. And it gives you direct links to just kind of get to the stream immediately. Considering that I'm about to have like four shots of rum with these once this drink is down. Um, hopefully I don't fuck up making these cookies. I mean, I guess we'll see, but I mean... I guess we'll start off with a simple one as I as I slurp along here. I'm thinking we're gonna start off with the chocolate chip cookies and then save the best for the last because um, these lemon cookies, they slap. Oh my god, look, look at what else is in here. Worms and dirt. I know this is childish as fuck, but bro, I don't know what it is. Worms and dirt is like crack cocaine. But these lemon cookies, I, I know they look like like nothing they look so lame but like it's the perfect balance where like it's just enough lemon flavor and sweetness that like it it slaps but it's not enough for you to be satisfied so you always want more it's like it's like drugs but cookies i'm gonna drink more alcohol to get ready for these cookies because as we you know the more alcohol that you consume the better you are at uh making making food honestly we have a couple of viewers on Twitch right now, so what, like, nobody can see my Discord? My brand new Discord? That I just made? That I'm so proud of and it makes me happy? What the fuck? But yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out, because I am gonna make a pumpkin pie, obviously, as we're moving into fall time here. But, I need to figure out... Alcohol. Oh! I need to figure out what we're gonna do for spooky recipes. Recipes that will really make you shiver your timbers uh for the halloween season because like obviously we're gonna make a pumpkin pie standard um i don't know skeletons are really fucking scary right man i don't i don't even believe in skeletons i'll be honest they're not even real okay cookie time honestly we should make both cookie recipes at the exact same time i mean that's way more expedient right let's see here I'm going to do a double batch. This is what we're going to do. Since I'm going to be freezing chocolate chip anyway, and I know this recipe doesn't make a lot of cookies, I'm going to do a double batch of these lemons. So we're going to use two cups of butter. I'm sure we won't fuck up these cookies at all. Um, I need to get two mixing bowls or two things to melt these butters down. Okay, one sec. This is perfect for melting butter in the microwave, you know? Just grab some, uh, just grab some mugs. We got one cup of butter for one recipe, another cup of butter for another recipe. Oh my god. Alcohol and high heels is kind of fucking scary. Yeah, being intoxicated and in heels, I feel like I'm, like, ready to... It's interesting. I feel like I'm flying. Um... Yo, I just come in- hold on, let me pull up YouTube chat. How come I can't see any comments on YouTube live chat? What the fuck? Bro, you had two choices now. You're a femboy? <laughs> Bro, you have two choices now. Okay, so what are you saying with the- with the I have two choices? Are you saying, um... The two choices. The- the one choice is what? Being Twink Death and the other being HRT? Because I've already made that choice. And it's definitely the latter. <laughs> Yo, I just come in. What's up? Yeah, I remember you commenting on my, um... Anyway, I remember you seeing the... I, I remember you commenting on my, um... On my fucking post. But yeah, you basically... The only thing that you missed was just the context that I'm drinking up to four shots of alcohol right now. I'm gonna make two different cookie recipes because I got a spicy date. This is a lot of... Oh, I didn't eat food either, so... 
the four shots are really be a boy or go to the army those are my two choices a a's and m um i'll stick with being a boy i'll stick with being a boy other people can be men i'd rather fucking die than be a man i mean that's what men do right that's why they're they die more than women like faster like they don't live as long my friend you can change yourself i can change myself that's true yeah i'm going to uh, Azim M. I'm going to change myself into a very, very cute femboy with lots of estrogen by taking extremely high estrogen doses, which is what I'm doing right now. It's very good. The ladies are a big fan. Go me in. I literally been subscribed to you since 2012 ish. Holy crap. So what made you subscribe? What was like the main? I've been so curious about that. What was like the main thing that made you subscribe to like my old like that was like high school, junior high, I think, something like that. That was like my old content. Like, clearly choices have been made. Choices have been made. I used to watch Chimod videos. What captivated me was your screens. <gasps> yeah, so my biggest videos, if you actually look at like the archives on my YouTube channel, it's like uh scp173 scares me and gary's mod i almost want to keep it public just because it does get so many views i might i might just just because it's clickbait for like it just gets in those subscribers but it's like scp173 scares me and gary's mod and the weeping angels video those two like racked in like what like half a million views or some stupid number uh or quarter million and it was just like i I just acted like an idiot with like some dumb mods and like I could have just like kept doing like something scares me and Gary's mod here and there and that would have gotten me way more subs but I was hell bent on doing let's plays of like the horror baps uh anyway it was, it was really funny just seeing how that went but it's it's awesome just to see uh just to see that that's where you came from and that's where you remember me I kind of figured that most people forgot about my old YouTube channel because I kind of did my life has been hell for my whole 20s so it's been way too busy for me to even think about youtube or anything like that well i definitely have four shots of me now holy i think a's and m uh gave up i don't think they're here anymore i can change myself that's funny. I definitely know I can do that. Chocolate on white surfaces tend to stain. Oh, I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't give a fuck. Am I trans now? That's an interesting question. Hold on a sec. Where's my... I need to get my butter. This is a butter question. One second. My butter. Oh my god. I am, I am drunk. Uh, a cup of butter. We need lots of sugar. We got the sugar. I need to get the molasses. If you call somebody on, on hormones trans, then yes. That was, that's kind of crazy. I used to be transphobic, and now I'm trans. Ironic, is it not? That's, an, <laughs> that's what happened. Anyway, I'm throwing a cup of butter into both bowls right now. By that technicality, I guess I am, but I don't think I'm like... I don't identify as a woman. I don't think I'm a girl. Am I a girl? Chat, am I a girl? I don't think I'm a girl. Anyway, I think I'm non-binary. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. That's personally what I think. Um, do we have all the alcohol yet? This is a crazy question. I need more alcohol for it. Ah, oh, very good. I'm gonna get all this cocktail stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'm on hormones. Feminizing hormones. And it has, um... It's definitely fixed a lot of problems. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love, uh, I appreciate that. Honestly, in terms of, um, in terms of, um, like what it's done, like, yeah, it's, um, I kind of like before I used to be like, oh, the regret rate being less than 1%. That's propaganda. That's not real. Uh, no, it definitely, uh, I can definitely see that now. Cause I'm like, oh. I have this inkling that I should be this other thing. And I take the hormones and I'm like, oh yeah, I feel better. Oh, uh, wow. Who would have thought? Anyway, yeah, I just started taking my mental health seriously. And I think that, that 
also kind of reflected because I tried to get onto YouTube off and on for a bit. And then just with like the pure, just with the pure chaos of my life, um, I just didn't really have the motivation to do anything outside of uh, uh, like, like in terms of content forever, just because I'm just like, God, my life is too much hell. Now that I've just kind of like confronted things, I'm like, man, now I'm just like inspired to like get back and like producing content and like doing whatever I want again. So I feel like this will be like a really good turn of events for me in terms of like, like, I don't know. It just feels that way because like, like before, before I did this channel merge thing, I've been doing like Twitch, Twitch stuff consistently and, you know, exercising, doing, doing career life stuff, you know, it's been good. So it has been uh, definitely an improvement, I think, I'd say, in terms of pursuing what I thought was right for me. So I'm going to do the chocolate chips in this bowl with the white inside just to spite you. You fucking... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Jello was yum. Uh, the guy who I used to do my Gary's Mod Horror Let's Play videos with. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get him to do live content and shit. I know he loves alcohol. He's kind of a low-key alcoholic, so I'm trying to get him here just to sit at this bar with me. I can just feed him alcohol and get him ranting and stuff. That'd be so fun for the stream, but we'll get there. We'll get there. His life is chaos too. We'll we'll get there. It'd be fun though, just to like do like stuff for like old times' sake. Do you pretend on play horror games, or will you stay with more casual games? I think you were saying, am I going to stick with horror games or am I going to uh, uh, play more casual games? The answer to that is I'm going to be playing uh, more casual story driven games. So starting tomorrow, you're going to see my live, uh, my live stream uh, VODs uh, getting posted for um, and day after day, each episode will be posted. So my new my new goal for this channel is to post a video a day because of the production speed of live streams. Um, so I should be able to do that now, but yeah, you're going to see my let's play of Amori, which was really, really fun. Um, especially involving chat that made that way more fun. And yes, I know it's not brown sugar. We'll get to, I will get to that. I will get to that. Don't worry about it, Wicked. We'll get there. So this is supposed to be three quarter cups of brown sugar in this bowl for the chocolate chip cookies. So what we're going to do, just a bit of molasses and then in here. For brown sugar, we need a half a cup. This is a little bit less, like that. The portion of white sugar that we put in there into brown sugar. And I actually underscooped on purpose uh, because there is sugar and molasses, of course. But basically, if you didn't know, brown sugar is white sugar and molasses mixed together. So if you buy a bag of brown sugar, you're kind of wasting money and it's not going to taste as fresh as just making the brown sugar on the spot. And so you can just mix it all together all at once. So it's not really laborious. I would just say buy fancy molasses and then have your white sugar on standby. And that way you can have the freshest brown sugar ready to order, you know? Uh, I hope you like my Let's Play of Amori. I cried a lot, by the way. Yeah, most people, and Wicked, most people don't know that. That's the thing. When it comes to brown sugar, like most people think that it's just like... You have to buy brown sugar separately but yeah it's a huge scam this is like the thing is like food companies want you to be like as clueless and helpless as possible when it comes to food so you don't know the shit so you give them money these bitches i hate these guys sorry i'm so cynical i'm so cynical anyway i need to grab some vanilla one second so a teaspoon going here for the chocolate chip cookie recipe let's see does this need any vanilla oh shit i just spilled it on the fucking floor Good thing it's a rental property. I'm drunk. I don't know what to tell you. I don't remember Tyrion. Uh, I do remember Tyrion just a bit when playing one shot. Really? I didn't know it was going to get that emotional. Guess we'll see. I can show you a cool thing that the moonshine can do. Because it's not a legal grade of moonshine. Let me show you something about this moonshine. Because it's not a legal grade, it does something pretty wild. That you've probably seen if you know anything about moonshine, but... I'm going to demonstrate it now just for the fun of it. This is moonshine. It smells like window cleaner. Boom. It's on fire. This is how I burn my fucking house down. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> that could have been better. It could have been worse too, so whatever. But anyway, I proved my point. It's it's full of alcohol. I almost started a major fire in my apartment complex. Anyway. So that's what the moonshine does. That shit like just fucking engulfs anything in flames. So yeah, we are taking basically until the lemon gets white is what I'm taking away. So I'm just taking the colored part of the lemon in a way because the white part is bitter but the colored part of the lemon on the very edge that's where the flavor of the lemon zest is when you're trying to collect that zest mediocre streamer starts fire demonstrating what moonshine does to fire have you ever seen a video of a kid singing some random undertale music and his house randomly cat caught on fire i didn't see that no that's crazy he summoned Toby Fox. Considering that those people don't have video game design backgrounds, it makes me want to make my own video game. I was thinking about making one. I have a really good idea for one that I think would slap pretty hard. But I need like a free time basically. Hopefully when my life is in more order, I can uh, figure something out. So with the juice, we need two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Uh, uh, uh. And just because I'm a madman. I put a little extra in there just to make it slap a little harder. You don't want to put too much because it's liquid. Oh my god, I'm covering myself in flour. Absolutely flour bukkake. Okay, one flour bukkake later. We got our two bowls full of flour. God damn. Okay, here's my baking powder. Oh, god damn. Okay, we're, get <laughs> we're getting through it. Fuck, I am... Uh... Feeling things. I really need water. We'll we'll get to that. I just want to get the dough done. I want I want something baking before I start drinking water. I want to torture myself just a little bit more. Okay, two teaspoons. Two. Okay, gonna make the chocolate chip cookies a little bit salty. Ooh, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, a little. I like a little bit of salt in there. It'd probably help if I actually like blended this before I threw the chocolate chips in. I'm not gonna lie, your amazing background noise. Uh, now that I'm really mixing this lemon cookie batter, it's like really smelling really good. This is insane. I'll show you guys in just a sec here. I wish I had an apron, first of all, because aprons are cute, but second of all, because of shit like this, like there's like shit getting on me right now. It'd be nice to protect myself just a little bit from uh, this harsh environment. Here's our lemon cookies right there. I'm gonna have some salmonella. Oh my god. That's so good. How can, if salmonella is so bad for you, how can it make, how can it taste so good? Does not make sense? Must be propaganda. Salmonella not real, I never had it. Our chocolate chip cookie dough recipe is now done. We got our chalky chip, just the dough, and then the lemon, which, oh my God. I don't care if I get salmonella poisoning, I want some more. I can't believe it. So good. Anyway. Yeah, see what did I tell you? I'm not gonna fuck it up even if I'm drunk. Hey, we did it. Look at that. There we go. We got our chocolate chips. Very good. And now I'm gonna get a little bit of salmonella again. Just a little bit of salmon. Oh no. That's crazy. Yeah, that's good. I don't really want these cookies to touch each other, so I'll probably just leave them like that. Yeah, I'll probably throw these in the oven. One sec here. Um, but yeah, like cooking for yourself is a really good way to actually like really gate like how much you're truly like eating, basically. Um, at least that's what I found. I was just like a lot more in control of my diet when I know exactly like what goes in all my food all the time um <clears throat> but yeah like before i would just have like okay i'll have some I'll, I'll buy a little box of cookies right you know and then i'll just have like the ideas when you buy a box of cookies maybe i mean 
especially a big family pack on sale, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just have a little bit here and there. Um, I'll just have a little bit here and there. And my job, by the way, is I'm a, I'm a gas fitter. I'm a residential gas fitter. Um, oh shit, I need another bowl to roll sugar in. Okay, one sec. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I install gas lines into people's houses. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, when it comes to, uh, like, feeding all that, yeah, I just, like, so part of it was, like, controlling the fact that, like, if I have to make the junk food myself manually, first of all, the junk food that I do get to eat when I am allowed to make, make junk food ends up being way too What is a gas fitter? A gas fitter is someone who bits gas lines let's say you need a, like you have a gas stove in a brand new house i install the line that runs from the city infrastructure to inside of your house to the stove uh, if you have a gas problem no i don't do uh, i don't do service work i only do new installs could you imagine because like uh gas fitters are also kind of plumbers so if i had to do service work for gas i might have to do some plumbing service work and fuck that. Can you imagine working on somebody's shitty toilet? It's like just shooting just fucking mountains of shit into the sky. Like a uh, nightmare on Elm Street with the blood on the bed. But it's toilet. You're gonna call me specifically for gas lines. That chance, I don't do service. You'd have to buy a whole new property. And then and the only way that I'd actually like come to your place when you're occupying it is like you'd have to like have like a is that what it is you're just trying to get me over to your place like get your little femboy gas fitter to come and like be like oh yeah i'm here to fix your gas lines i heard you got a gas leak oh yeah i do <laughs> i don't know i don't know how that's a sexual term but anyway i imagine that this is like for nefarious purposes i'm just gonna keep eating more of this lemon cookie dough because it's really yummy are you in the u.s by chance i'm not in the u.s I'm close. If you are in heaven, you flow into my residence. You're gonna install me a gas line. <laughs> oh god, I'll be so scared at the tension. First, we gotta dig that trench. We gotta dig that trench. Socks, I have no baking sheets. Uh, okay. I have. I have one more. I have one more baking sheet. Thank god. Okay. I'll show you what the uh, chocolate chip cookies now. Oh yeah, that's our chalky chip. That's a fresh... That's some fresh chalky chip cookie right there. Yes, I am so proud of this. And this is like the worst thing I can eat after not eating for in forever, but you know, still. Still. Anyway, one sec. You can't eat any cookies without milk. And yeah, high key, I highly recommend this uh, cookie recipe. That was one cup of butter sh softened. Three quarter cup of sugar, three quarter cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, two and one quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of, or half teaspoon of salt. I like to put in like a teaspoon to one and a half. And then a package, a small one, of chocolate chip cookies will get you this. This beautiful thing that you're eating right now. And that is uh, 375 degrees for eight to 10 minutes in the oven. Preferably I go eat some real food. I'll fry up a steak after the stream. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord, do you see that? Oh. The dunking action. Oh my god, I'm excited. Sexually, of course. So buttery with that sea salt flavor that sea salt makes it slap so hard mm. 
You know, I said maybe there is no God because of Skibbity Toilet. But these cookies made me kind of rethink. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'll reform my behavior. Mm hmm. Yeah, honestly, I think extra salt is the way to go, personally. Oh, oh, so you do want spicy cookie action, huh? Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, this is my last of the chalky chip. And then I'm just going to have a couple of the lemon. I'm not going to tongue fuck my milk. I'll get banned. I'm sorry, but that requires an OnlyFans subscription. Anyway, that was an incredible chocolate chip cookie recipe. Mmm, the special milk. I want to go to the Femboy Cafe and have their special cream for my coffee, please. I need it served right at the table, too. I need it served right at the table while I make awkwardly long eye contact with the server and ask them how their day is going. We got two minutes on the timer for the lemons. Prolonged eye contact. And then, yeah, just be like, I ask them, like, hey, so how's your day going? Is it nice working here? <laughs> keep adding stuff that's how you do it i hear speaking of i hear that there's a femboy hooters location that's uh i forget what city in um in uh the u.s is always like the test place for all the restaurants and stuff that open up but they're testing a pilot location for femboy hooters obviously by the people who own the hooters brand and yeah it's you're lucky that you get whole milk in the u.s Homo milk in Canada should have to have like a femboy making like an ahi gal face. Okay, let's see how these cookies are looking. Man, do you know what would be cool is if I got another camera that I could run all the way over to the oven and then point it at the oven so you guys get a live cookie baking stream. Okay, we're still waiting on them. I need the location right now. Um, yeah, like I forget. You have to look up what that uh, city is where they do all the uh, test locations for restaurants, like for pilot places. There's a common city that's known in the U.S. where every restaurant that does a franchise, they start in that one city because they are like a, um, they're like the perfect test population for like any product, to, like whether or not it's going to succeed in other parts of the country. Yeah, Femboy Hooters. So it is being worked on. I wonder how the execution would be if they did have an, a femboy hooters here like i quit the service industry because i used to get pro used to get discriminated against for being a femboy but i mean hey if i can work at a place where it could be a femboy still though the service industry post covid sucks it's like the tips are not as good as what they used to be which is a big reason why i moved to uh, service and gas lines we are definitely going i would love honestly if I got the donos to go check out Femboy Hooters, I would bring my 4K camera and I would uh, I would take us on a road trip and uh, a vlog. I mean, hopefully, hopefully we get the the tipping high enough. It's one of these years, but I feel like who knows how long the pilot will be around for. Ooh, 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 ooh lemon cookie and this is the thing these lemon cookies they're so sad looking they look boring sad pathetic but honestly honestly these hit just as hard if not harder than the chocolate chips i'm not even kidding and this is coming from me the person who would suck joe biden's cock for the world's best chocolate chip cookie thankfully i don't have to do that though because i have the world's best chocolate chip cookie here but i'm just saying that's the world's best chocolate cookie, and these are the best lemon cookies. They're right on par. Honestly, they slap just as hard. If I could have a crazy cat girl GF who would definitely like murder me in my sleep, I'd love that. I'd love to delusionally think I can fix her only to be the one who gets like fucking murdered. Fucked up cat girls that can ruin your life or my uh, downfall. Like why is that appealing where it's like, oh, there, there's clearly no point to this and it's just this background music.
Dude, what a vibe. What a vibe. I'm absolutely vibing. Do you know what would make things vibe better? If I could get some fucking Scooby Snacks. One second here. Honestly, gay sex with women hits different. Let's see. Is this... Is this... Oh, the cookies have cooled down. Okay. I can have a lemon cookie. So... Keep in mind, there's lemon zest in here, which is the shavings of the edge part of the cookie. R. Kelly pissed on people. Yeah, he pissed on children. That's why I always said it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Okay, here we go. Lemon cookie. Mm. Okay. This goes really hard. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay, it is a good time to s fucking stop the stream now, for sure. Anyway, I'm falling asleep now. I can just- I can feel my consciousness leaving me as I speak now, so... I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.